Hey everyone, welcome back to the R Anime Podcast. I'm Tay, and today's episode is brought to you by friends over at G Kids. G Kids is proudly presenting the highly anticipated new film from director Makoto Shinkai and the creative team, including producer Genki Kawamura, behind the critically acclaimed global smash hit Your Name. But enough about the praise. You know all about this movie, we know about this movie, you know about Your Name, Garden of Words, and of course, the movie we're talking about today, Weathering with You. I guess there is a chance you don't know much about Weathering with you or Makoto Shinkai, which in case, stay tuned because this episode is going to be spoiler free. We're here to let you know all about this amazing movie, this amazing director, and how you can go see it. So with me today, I have none other than the amazing, the one, the only, a ton of bacon, who is in fact 2,000 pounds of bacon. How you doing, my man? Oh god, my New Year's resolution. I need to switch You need to lose game. some weight, buddy. I know, <laughs> man. I thought you Dieting were 20, you. 20 pounds of bacon at this point. I know, oh, shit. I, got, I gotta oh, just man. cut the fat out, and I need oh, to just... Oh my god, time to pick up boxing again. I need Faye yeah. to train me. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta help you. We, it, boxing with you, that'll be the sequel to this. Boxing oh my god. with you. The characters Boxing start with beating you. each other. Like, <laughs> you like this rain? You like this? Oh, man. Yeah, we're just going to bring the rain. You know who's going to help us bring the rain? Yeah, that's right. It's Mozilla Fennekin. I don't know how that ties into each other. I'm but... a fire. F- Fennekin is a fire type Pokemon. Thank you. Rain oh, so bad. you're like the sunshine Pokemon. Kind of. Not really. But oh, kind of. I didn't think of it that way. There was a Pokemon that did the weather stuff, though, right? Like in yes. uh, Ruby... Sapphire, it, like, changed cast, the cast weather? Form. Cast form. Ooh. Welcome to the R Anime podcast form. Ah, uh, hey, uh, nice. And... Moss, how you doing, my man? Uh, I'm me, you know. I'm here. You, you're we- you. Weathering with me. <laughs> weathering with me. Whether it's with us, with Moz, with you. Weather. You know, weather. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Good. And that's the episode. Shaz <laughs> yeah, yeah, decided to leave. And of course, we have the most popular, famous, any Twitter account on the internet. <laughs> Shocking. 800,000 followers and seven. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. I feel like... A bad person. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to say that, but I feel like a bad person. But thank you. I'm glad to be here weathering with my weird cold. Yes. Uh, you're under you know, the, the cult weather? of Shinkai. Ooh. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, I think uh, one of the reasons why we decided we wanted to do this episode and G Kids was so gracious and so kind enough to present us with a couple copies of uh, Weathering With You for us to watch in advance of this amazing North America release, which I'm really excited for. Uh, They got us these screeners and we are so excited to tell you about this film. So if you don't know much about it, uh, the summer of his high school year, Hodaka, who is the main character, runs away from his remote island home in Japan to Tokyo and quickly finds himself pushed to his financial and personal limits. The weather is unusually gloomy and rainy every day, as if to suggest his future. He lives his days in isolation, but finally finds work as a writer for a mysterious occult magazine. That cult is not the RMA podcast, but you know, you can pretend. <laughs> then one day, Horoka meets Hina on a busy street corner. This bright and strong world girl, oh bright, I get it, <laughs> possesses uh, a strange and wonderful ability. Did you write this mouse summary? <laughs> I didn't. It's the synopsis that our friends over at G Kids so graciously provided to us along with the screener. Who's but she has episode, the ability. The oh my God. <laughs> In case you didn't know, they are sponsoring this episode. And they are sponsoring this girl's power to stop the rain and clear the sky. They actually don't sponsor her ability, but like... I wouldn't be surprised. They're pretty I mean, awesome. I, we could kind of use that here in the Northwest, man. It's been raining for like a oh, week hey, straight. Yo, hey, the Pacific Northwest is totally rainy all the time, right? Like, especially in the summer. So, like, no one should ever go to the Pacific Northwest in the summer. I mean, please don't. I mean, like, it's, you're not wrong. You know, we it's have, so miserable. Don't it's go. A, it's very miserable here. I'm up here. That's what makes it miserable. Like, oh, that Aww. guy's... Oh, I don't want to talk to that guy. <laughs> so, Bacon does not have the power to stop the rain and clear the sky, apparently. <laughs> I do not. I'm not... I'm but not... hey, if you're under the weather, like our friend Shaw is, who, you know, <laughs> in our hearts, we are hoping that she gets better soon. 
But if you're trying to get out, out of the weather and you want to watch this in theaters, which I totally recommend because like Shinkai's films have all been super gorgeous, uh, you can watch it in theaters starting January 15th. Just go to G Kids, uh, their Twitter account or on their website and you can find out. Or just go straight to weatheringview.com and you can find uh, screenings on the 15th and 16th. They're subbed and dubbed and then in theaters starting from the 17th. So with that out of the way, we got Weathering With You. But before Weathering With You, you know, like... If you've seen a couple of our movie discussion episodes before, like we've done for Mirai, like we've done for Listen to the Bluebird, you know what we like to do is give you guys a little bit of a little bit of a teaser about this movie, <laughs> just so you know. Oh, I like being teased. <laughs> oh, Bacon, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. This is this is rated E for everyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's uh he likes being teased. He's like uh, Nishikata in Takagi-san, which is available on Netflix. <laughs> oh, I on love Netflix. that show. Wait, a it's minute. great. What does that say but, about uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> so this is obviously not Shinkai's first rodeo. And if this is your first time finding out about Shinkai or this movie, which, you know, every every anime is potentially someone's first. So Shinkai has done a lot of films and a lot of anime before this. Uh, so let's start from the very beginning. So how many of you guys have seen She and Her Cat? <laughs> no. No, I don't think I All actually right. saw that one. I have heard of that. Wow, I, I knew I'm not I'm not an OG fan, not a wow. day one. Wow, not a Dion A fan. No, so sad, <laughs> so sad. You know what's so 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 sad? She and her cat. It's like a five minute OVA that like Shinkai was giving out to like at conventions and stuff to try and get his name out there. I think he voiced like he did everything himself, and then he voiced it, and then he got his girlfriend at the time to voice it. They broke up either during or after. It was me. <laughs> this was so bad. I'm breaking up with you. Yeah, is that indicative of like the quality of she and her cat? Unfortunately, oh, no. No man. No, I thought I thought it was really good. Oh, that's but good to hear. It sounds very cute. It's uh, it's very sad actually. It sounds about, yeah. It's about uh a cat who lives alone, uh, with a girl, and she always comes home, and it's like from the cat's point of view. And from mm-hmm. the very beginning, you could see like the backgrounds were very important to him. Like the background art is always so good. Yeah. So I think with that, let's jump a little closer to the present. Let's go a little back and forth. So then after that, he did a couple of other things. He did Voices from a Distant Star, which was like 30 minutes long. Also, uh, I really liked. I would highly recommend uh, if you can get your hands on it. She and her cat was also turned into a TV show that uh aired it was like half length episodes uh for 13 episodes or 12 episodes very good wait that was the same thing because i've heard of that i didn't know that was like based on the like same thing yeah yeah yeah. so it started off with she and her cat was like a five minute ova and then they made it into a tv show oh so that's connected that's awesome yeah there's only four episodes four episodes wow i thought it was longer at seven minutes each Huh. That's cool. Damn, that's, that's cool. You just you should power you through should that definitely right watch now. it. It's yeah, really that's good. awesome. Actually, just pause this episode and go watch it. I'm pretty sure you can find it on like Crunchyroll or something. It is. Yeah, I think it is. Question yeah. on this show: Is there trains? Is there no? People that- oh, okay. But there are cats and there are girls. But yes, Bacon hit the nail right on the head because let's talk about the next one that I think most people have seen, which is five centimeters per second. Yeah. And I feel like with that and she and her cat, you really get the strong foundations of Shinkai's work, you know? Mm-hmm. Which is that there are cats, there are girls, and there are trains. And there's sadness. And there's sadness. And there's the I wouldn't sad. say it's sad. It's more just like a bittersweet ending. I think it's pretty sad. sad. <laughs> it's I think hard. it's kind of sad. Soft. Each That's of- all you are. Soft. <laughs> Dude, you uh, definitely cried at it. I know you did. No, I didn't. I did. How okay, did you cry? I will say I did not cry watching Five Seven for a hmm. second. I just sat no. back and went, ah, rough. That's really rough. How <laughs> did you Yo, not cry I at that cool. one? <laughs> Yo, I, don't I know. cried at five centimeters per second. My really? tears were falling at a rate of five centimeters per second. Oh, uh, actually, I can kind of feel Bacon because I was just giving him crap because, like, Bacon said that he cried at a few other films that we will discuss. But I but was like, I cried I out of happiness. Come on. Oh, you think I'm an well, yeah, because I actually don't. Th- I think you're on the on the nose when you say that it's very bittersweet but not necessarily like sad because there's not like a moment where you'd be like really sad but like the whole thing is sad yeah, yeah. yeah. so it makes you feel empty inside but it won't make you like start sobbing yes that's that's a much better way to explain it thank you unless fate started sobbing i i mean i'm always sobbing we <laughs> my, gar- my current state of being is sobbing <laughs> yes. sobbing so, with you sobbing with you no i think it's actually a great film i think 
it's one of those anime films that actually kind of like transcends being an anime film. Like even before your name was like a worldwide sensation, it was kind of like making waves back in the day with people who were, you know, like the artsy indie folk who were looking for, you know, films that weren't on the usual mainstream circuit. And you'd hear people recommend five centimeters per second as like, oh, it's like an anime film, but it's like really good and it's really deep and really makes you feel bad. Like, it really makes you feel, feel. like five <laughs> centimeters. <laughs> it really Yo, makes like, you feel, yeah. It, I can't like, think of a good one of doing that, but I wanted to mean that so badly. Your soul leaves your body at a rate of five centimeters per second. Yeah. I think it does, I think it's like one of the first at showing how Shinkai is really great at kind of capturing a fil- an emotion's essence in a film. Mm-hmm. And I think he does a great job with that in five centimeters per second. It also looks gorgeous for like 2007 and he had like no money. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. I still have uh, my work computer's background is one of the <laughs> one of the shots from five centimeters per second. And yeah, I'm, I'm, if anyone catches it, I'm not sad because it looks so, so breathtaking. Mm-hmm. It's also known as five wallpapers per second. Well, I think that's the next one, actually. Well, yeah, both of them. Yeah. But yeah, so, Maz, did you have any thoughts on five centimeters per second? Not really. I've seen it. I'm just not a big fan of it. Mm, that's fair enough. But yeah, like, it, for me, like, I thought it was a really great kind of, like, debut work. Because he also did The Place Promise in our early days, but that didn't mm-hmm. really like take the mainstream so much but you're right shot like five centimeters per second did like uh it did it really well on the indie circuit and then like mm-hmm. the actual award circuit too like it won the uh the award for best animated feature film at the 2007 asia pacific screen awards oh nice uh and it also won the lancia platinum grand prize at the future film festival for best movie in animation and or special effects wow that's great to hear yeah so like it was really th- around then where, like, he started to break out. And then, you know, mm-hmm. he started doing all those commercials as well. Yeah. Uh, like, he did Crossroad. He did, uh, which is was, like, a tutoring one. He did a series of real estate commercials that were, like, really sad. Oh, my uh, gosh. Like, following uh, a daughter, like, moving away from her dad and, like, trying to find her own place. And it was like a real estate agency commercial. I feel like that's not necessarily the vibe you want to go for when selling it. But I mean, you know, he knows what he's doing better than I do. So I won't question it. Yeah. Yo, I would recommend it. He also did a series of miso soup commercials that are really good. Yeah. Like, I know he did an advertisement later on, maybe for um, like a tourist agency for Canada. (laughs) Oh, yeah. He also did that. He's uh, he's been around the block. Yeah. And then. Whoa, what? You know? (laughs) You know he's been uh he's been animating this animating that and oh, you know when yeah. with five centimeters per second he was like you know what if I made like falling cherry blossoms look really good animated and then he took he took like a couple years then he's like you know what falls faster than cherry blossoms rain <laughs> what if I made rain look really good look on you're not gonna convince anime. me that living up here is a great idea okay rain in real life looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> but you know where rain does look great that's right it's garden of words also by shinkai also by comics way films which is the studio he works with primarily for all his stuff and garden of words to me was like first of all like it seemed like he so the one weakness i felt like in five centimeters per second and his earlier stuff is that like the background stuff looked really good but the character designs you could really tell it was an indie work mm-hmm. yeah but garden of words like you were like, oh, like, this guy actually got some money to spend on, like, some character designs. Yeah. So he's, but, uh, yeah, he broke once again. man. He's guy. broke once again. He's like, yeah. crap, I need more guy. money. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the movie we just watched. I don't know. Go on, though. I like mm-hmm. how we got the, you know, we have, like, the pillars of Shinkai, and now we start having, like, Rain as one of the big pillars of making, oh, yeah. like, Rain look really good. So Spoilers well, for rain. people who didn't realize that weathering with you had to do with the weather being bad and it raining, <laughs> but we're going to see this motif repeated in weathering with you. I mean, you. your name also, isn't about someone's name? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We also had uh, this thing where, like, you is in the title. Your name and weathering with you... Oh my gosh! So next what, one's gonna be you... so next one's gonna be like a gangster movie called Yo Yo. Wait, what's couldn't up? couldn't you just call it Naming with You? Uh, <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. Sure. Is that the name of this episode? I don't know. Naming with you. Naming Shinkai with you. with you. 
But uh, so Garma Words deals with a kid who is a truant. He doesn't go to school very often, but he wants to design shoots. And uh, he goes to the Shinjuku Gardens uh, often because, honestly, having been to the Shinjuku Gardens, I cannot blame him. It's gorgeous. It's so gr- It's so nice, man. Dude. Oh, it's so nice. And every time it rains, he doesn't go to school for, like, the first couple periods. He just, like, stays there under, uh, like, in one of the seating areas. And one day he goes there and there's this mysterious woman there who's drinking beer and eating chocolates. And then Living the you know, dream. Living the dream, honestly. Like, Adult shop, life, yeah. can you tell me that you would not want to just live a life where you can hang out in parks and drink beer and eat chocolates and get no. your... No, sign me up now. I mean, if I, hung up out, if I hung out in parks and drink beer and chocolate, I look like the bad guy. But hey, go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's so well, true. Bacon. Maybe you shouldn't be a literal ton of bacon. Oh and- <laughs> my god, what is that? <laughs> Looking at Akira flashbacks. Oh god. <laughs> just soggy bacon in the rain oh uh, that's not good that's why I don't beer like soaked beer. bacon gross gross oh, well, oh, we can make something out of that go on no. I know <laughs> but you know it's not gross that's right the the animation of Garden of Wars was absolutely gorgeous like it Insane. was crazy going to Shinjuku Gardens and like it looks so beautiful and then I was thinking like but is this more beautiful than the anime which is absolutely crazy to think yeah because I think I've seen pictures of it and they both look so gorgeous in their own right, but it's cool to see that, like, he took it and made it gorgeous in, like, a different way. Like, it mm. looks as realistic as it can, but you look at both and you're like, yeah, um, yeah, this is it. This looks, this is too good looking for my eyes. I cannot hang. They both have, like, their own charm to it. Like, the real one obviously has, like, the real world. You, like, you can smell it. You can, like, be there and, like, really, like, take in the appreciation of the nature and the beauty of it. But also with, like, when you're watching the film, you're like, holy shit. Like, I would have hated to be the animator who had to, like, drop, like, draw each raindrop coming down. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that actually does sound like another form of hell. It's, like, drop, driving, drawing, not driving raindrops. Drawing driving with you. <laughs> driving oh, with you. Stop. Yeah, like drawing raindrops like that, you can only imagine. But, well, and for like extended is, cuts is too. Is Shinkai doing that yeah. himself, or he's just telling a group of people like, "Hey, like this next thing, all this has to do, like it has to uh, be a lot of raindrops." Are you gonna do any? No, no, no. I'm the director. All right, no, no, no. Just <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he's he got too big for his britches. He's like, I, I made my money. I made my words. I have more money now. <laughs> it's going. To I ain't gotta it. do this shit. That you know me. that like he could do it. Like if Yo, push came to sure. shove, he would just jump right in and be like, "This is my thing. I want all these raindrops, and I'm gonna do it one way or another." Because mm-hmm. he also did the like, he directed it and he wrote it, and then he. Mm-hmm. Ap- Apparently was also in charge of the photography, color design, and editing. Yeah, you gotta respect his work ethic. Like, he really is, like, making these projects his own. It's really Mm -hmm. cool to see, because I Mm -hmm. don't think there are many stories like his in the industry. So to see this, like, legitimately self-made guy, you know, go out here and kind of conquer the world with all his films is kind of inspiring in its own way. Mm -hmm. Because, like, when Garden of Words came out, it was... Like, that took over Tumblr like no other because there oh, yeah. were so many GIFs all over the place. Especially the one of the tree branch, tr- uh, like, touching the pond. Yeah, yeah. We've all seen it. Whether we know it or not. Like you've Weathering seen it. we know it or we- not. Oh, my gosh. How many, how many times are we going to do this? We get it. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, it's it's re- really cool to see. I like it, too, for... um, It's a different role for Kanahana where she's, like, mm-hmm. doing... a portraying a different role than her usual so it was a cool chance to see like a different story being told while also being gorgeous which i think Mm -hmm. is something like i'd say it's a bit of an improvement from five centimeters per second because while i think five centimeters per second really portrays an emotion well and it tells like little vignettes of stories it's not like you know you don't really get a good sense of like these characters as you know individual people like we know how they feel but we don't really experience a story with them per se but then in Garden of Words, we really do get this, like, interesting story with interesting characters, and they have, like, a pretty, um, I don't, what's a good way to describe their dynamic? You know, unconventional dynamic. So it was really cool to see. What and I really I- like about Garden of Words is that, uh, like, Shinkai always, like, with five centimeters per second, with Garden of Words, with your name, with the uh, voices of a distant star, she and her cat, he always has, like, this ideal. Mm-hmm. And then he, like, creates a story from this ideal, from this yeah. feeling. Like, you were saying, like, an emotion. Yeah. Uh, he So, like, he came up with the idea for Garden of Words 
because uh, using the traditional Japanese meaning of love, mm-hmm. uh, which was Yamato Kotoba. Uh, oh, so Japanese words back then were called Yamato ko- to- Kotoba, Kotoba meaning mm-hmm. uh, words. Yeah. And love back then was written with two characters that meant lonely sadness. Interesting. Aww. And so he, <laughs> Let's he would. Let's this. <laughs> <laughs> <Mas>. <laughs> But, like, like it, it's, like, a very East Asian thing to think that, like, being in love is, like, being, like, together, but, lo- like, being sad in your, lo- like, loneliness together. You can tell thing. that that's definitely a motif that has been expressed in many Japanese romances. Like, that feels <laughs> so Japanese. We have all seen that. <laughs> it's, like, the most traditional East Asian concept. So, wait, yes. you, you think this is maybe because Shinkai experienced something like that? Or I don't is know that about just that. his favorite motif that he likes to just play on from the ground up? I- I think that's just like a typical motif in uh, East Asian fiction in general. Mm-hmm. And so it's like a way to like portray. And so like he also said he wanted to emphasize the meaning of love as longing for someone in solitude, but in a modern setting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And he also yeah. wanted to like portray like a love that wasn't necessarily like a romantic love, but like mm-hmm. a dependent on each other love, like needing each other's to live kind of love kind of thing yeah i like those where it's an like you can tell they love each other but it's not Mm -hmm. necessarily romantic but you can still appreciate appreciate it as like you know a very unique relationship Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and like it i think it portrayed that feeling really well yeah definitely. Uh, the food looked gorgeous and like that is a motif we will see carried on in every (laughs) shinkai film the food looks good (laughs) the weather is great the food is the weather is great the people need help (laughs) (laughs) that's a great description for all of these films wait could that be the tagline for weathering with you the 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 food is great the weather is great the people need help (laughs) everyone needs help in all these in all these films not that that's a bad thing it's just sometimes we all need some help we all need I was somebody. thinking of that song. We need help to from not our cut copyright struck, so I'm not gonna keep singing so we don't get content. I thought ID. you were referencing that other song. From my friend. Oh, I did it. Okay, can you go on? Bacon, like that. Was that. I, 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 <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you. I I was blown away by your garden of singing words. So about uh, people who need help. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, like it was I don't know. I, I, when that happened, I was really glad, and then like I was really excited for whatever came next for Shinkai because at that felt I, point, I felt like it felt like a steady climb for him. Yes, it's the climb. Stop. Like he was Hannah Montanaing it his way through the anime film industry. Just to clarify, you mean that in a positive way? So he's climbing <laughs> through the anime industry, <laughs> and then of course. The one, the only, the amazing mega platinum worldwide hit, Mr. Mr. Extravaganza. Worldwide. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> uh, like a pit bull would l- just never leave the anime conscious ever again. Uh, it is, of course, Kimi no Nawa, also known as Your Name. Woo. Woo. Just, whoo. Which, if only we had done an episode about this. Oh, wait, you can find that on the R Anime podcast account uh, where we talk about your name. Yeah, you're not going to like my perspective uh, on that. Then again, you, oh, know, wow. you know what it is. That was so long ago, man. That was like know, three. That was legit. Ago. Three, I, I legitimately <laughs> forgot that we did an episode about your name. <laughs> yeah, the first time was being facetious. And then I was like, wait, no, we did an episode. Like, this Sean, I'm pretty sure episode. you were on that episode. No, I was not. Fun fact, oh, okay. I was not. I was on the Your Name ep- I mean, no, I was on the um, <laughs> Silent Voice episode. Oh. Okay. that. Oh, yeah, because we have back-to-back. What a year for anime films that was. That was probably but... the GOAT year for anime films last decade. <clears throat> not that it's yeah. saying much. I mean, like, you know, you know, for all of the memes I have with Your Name, you got to give credit where credit is due. It is, like, it really changed the game for anime films that weren't Ghibli mm-hmm. films. Mm-hmm. Ghibli, yeah, like Ghibli films had like just taken over, and everyone was like, "Oh, who's gonna be the next Miyazaki?" Which I hate because like you don't oh, do I that hate with that like too so much. But go on, so. yeah. people aren't like, "Yo, who's gonna be the next Scorsese?" or like, "Who's going to be the next Kubrick?" Like people are just like, "Oh, like they're they're just the the next director." But everyone has to be the next Miyazaki. I think they do in a different way. It just is. I think the best way that Shinkai changed the game was he made it more acceptable for mainstream audiences to watch anime films that weren't. Um, 
Ghibli films. Like, it's, he changed the game. So we mm-hmm. don't have to ask anymore who's the next Miyazaki. Mm. And they're, too, like, they're too totally Because that's different. him. Because everyone yeah. just kept calling him the next Miyazaki. Yeah. And then, and like, people know it's not him. But then, like, now instead of people asking, like, well, who's going to be that guy? We just know it's him. But then people just watch anime films no matter what. Like, we don't need one guy, one person to be that guy. We can just look mm-hmm. at a bunch of people now. And it's really so cool to see. He's just taking the fall for everyone else. Yeah, he's opening the door for everyone, but and then it's like, yeah, we might not know you guys as much, but we respect your films. Because, you know, we yeah. have so many, like, new, like, anime being filmed, mm-hmm. anime films being produced by, like, G-Kids and being distributed by them and, like, Sentai Filmworks, mm-hmm. our MVPs, like, we just see, like, so many new anime films being brought back to theaters. Like, we even mm-hmm. had, um... You know, like Perfect Blue getting brought back to theaters. Oh yeah, the Perfect day. Blue. Uh, thanks to our friends over at Eleven Arts, got another run in theaters. Um, Mirai got an Academy Award nom uh, for yeah. best animated feature a couple years ago. Shout out to G Kids for bringing that over because that was yeah. awesome. You could also check out the episode we did on that film, which was really cool. But yeah, but really thanks to your name, we really got to see a rise of like anime films being brought over to the U.S. Because before that, it really felt like there weren't many. I don't know like many people like going to the going to theaters to see anime films like mm-hmm. i'm sure they did but i that, feel like they that's made still it new and... now almost because i know yeah. so many t- people went to promare though recently yeah i went dude, to promare co- yeah dude the 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 konosuba movie uh-huh. full theater yeah, yeah. same konosuba yeah same. konosuba was really packed the fate heaven's fail movies have been like absolutely packed when i've gone to see them the kizumonogatari uh, films the kizumonogatari films were yeah, they were fairly yeah, so. Uh, but on my end, Oof. though, I just don't like the time slots that all these great movies are getting. They're getting like midweek at night, like no no uh, weekend time slots except for. Promare Pro- 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 got one. Promare got I saw. Promare like, got Sunday. like extended extended showings. As yeah, yo, should. shout out, yo, honestly, shout out to Jika. It's like yes, we're being sponsored by them for this episode, but yeah, I'm but so glad that like they made Promare get an extended run, and I think. Uh, Weathering with you is going to get that too because the longer these like the more these get like extended runs and like the more people are able to just go see them when they can the better and I think that started with your name because when your name hit too I think I saw it in like three theaters like three four times yeah yeah it was definitely available for everyone to go see multiple times Mm -hmm. and I think we all had that feeling that like we could bring anyone to go see your name like you could bring like any family member any like sibling friend and you could just go and it would be a normal cinematic experience like right. and it would be like totally acceptable and i think that really changed the game i went with my roommate once i went with my mom once i went with one of my friends from college once like three very different people and like they all really loved it and it was really fun to watch and like your name i guess we had thing actually talked about your name in itself but like yeah your name was like his big feature film that like swept that was like played prominently in a lot of theaters mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. it just broke like so many box office records i think it actually has the box office record in it, japan it, over spirited away now i think it's worldwide over spirited away yeah oh, baby mr worldwide let's go <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure it actually broke it like it broke the record for like highest grossing anime film worldwide before it actually came to the u.s yeah oh c- coming out of yeah so animated Anime wise, I think that might be true, but Spirited Away technically has more. Oh yeah, because it had uh, a recent more. showing. Yeah, they uh, reshowed it. Yeah, they had a recent showing for it, so it was like, uh, oh, that's how they did it. Oh, just man. wait, for, just wait in twenty years when we get re-release of, of your name. Yo, yeah. but ticket prices are like fifty bucks now. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that would wrong. be actually awful. That Maybe. would be crazy. But that's yeah. how they're gonna. Yeah, with uh, with the help of good old inflation on their side. Dude, yeah, but I love inflation. Okay. Remember, I remember when because I went to see your name uh, at the New York International Film Festival. I got tickets to see that, so it was like a couple months before the any release of your name. And I remember going to it, and I was thinking like, okay, so like, what are the pillars of Shinkai? There's gonna be trains. There's probably gonna be a cat, and if there's not a cat, uh, it's gonna look really gorgeous. And, and also, there's gonna be an older girl. Two, no, two <laughs> people are gonna talk. One's female, one's male. Yes. And uh, like, I was just so blown away the first like the first time I watched your name in theaters. Like, it was such a phenomenal experience, especially yes. getting to see it with a film festival audience. Oh, I can uh, imagine. Yeah, that sounds like, really that's a nice experience. Cool. Everyone was like super respectful throughout the whole thing. Like, 
it was just like a re- like you could feel the tension at the right points uh, in the theater. Like there were certain like when the marker on the hand scene happens, no. like you could hear. You probably could have, there was, there was like one child, I want to say. Everyone's like holding their breath, and one child goes, No! It was like, it like broke your heart, but it also like relieved the tension, but you were also like, Holy shit, no, this is like terrible! Dude, you <laughs> you like, everyone's on the same page, but they just vocalized everyone's thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and like, it's so gorgeous. The. The show, like, the music was really good. I thought I really liked yeah. uh, Radwimps and what they did with the music. I really loved the background. I loved the two different settings that they had in Your Name and how they made, like, both of them look so gorgeous. I even went to, uh, so, like, the Gifu prefecture uh, nearby uh, in Your Name. I actually took, when I went to Ghetto, I actually passed through and I took the train that one of them takes at a certain point to get over to the Gifu prefecture. Ooh. To get to you the went town. to the was... stairs, right? I did go to the stairs. Th- those stairs that? have become yes. like a tr- a tourist trademark. I mean, oh, like, for sure. I went you... there and the... I went oh, there yeah. right this past summer. So mm-hmm. like 2019 summer. It's been three years since your name came out, and there was a line of people taking pictures there. Oh, I got That's lucky. Amazing. There was like no one there when I went. Oh man. Yeah, super lucky. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Those... It's funny because the... the only famous stairs we have here in the U.S. is the Joker stairs. You know, <laughs> completely oh, yeah, different. Bronx, are they? Yeah. They're in the Bronx. Are they? Oh my gosh, I want to go yeah. see them. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> we, so well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go but see yeah, them. Yeah. Between that and the uh, the Love Live stairs, you know, like Tokyo's got some pretty famous stairways. <laughs> so oh what you're saying is the next Makoto Shinkai film it's just gonna be about <laughs> stairs like <laughs> stairs <laughs> with you oh. stairs with, with you <laughs> stairway to heaven oh stairway. that's a good one yeah. I like that uh, yeah yeah heavening with you that sounds oh. sad no, this sounds like a stand this sounds like a Jojo <laughs> thing this this went full Jojo Makoto Shinkai <laughs> directs the next Ma Jojo, Jojo Shinkai. Shinkai Ma Jojo Shinkai ooh Ma Jojo Shinkai Ooh, my favorite. Camino Jojo. I don't know who that is. I don't know who any of these people are. This is not how it works. Yeah, I don't know. Did you guys have any more thoughts on your name? And uh, like... So, on the topic of Radwimps, uh, mm-hmm. doing an outstanding job because just like uh, like I haven't heard anything from them except from that movie. I actually went This is out... going to be a recurring theme, by the way, Radwimps. <laughs> Yo, <yeah. laughs> it's yeah. another th- motif. Another one. There needs <laughs> a lay motif. There needs to be rad and wimpy people in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diary yeah. of a rad wimpy kid. <laughs> Pretty... Oh. Dude, I'd watch that. So so with Radwimps, uh, I first, of course, end up buying like the Your Name soundtrack. Then I end up of buying uh, Radwimps' uh, album uh, called Human Bloom, which was my favorite thing from 2018 that I discovered. And of course, like two of the main songs from Your Name are in there, but it's the actual like official release of that song, which there's like a little more uh, singing involved uh, in some of the really long parts where in the film there's like all those like uh, amazing instrumentals. Shots. Yeah, yeah, instead of instrumentals, you actually have more singing, which highly recommend to everyone to check out Radwimps' album Human Bloom. It's a personal favorite of mine, and I, I, can't, I can't, of course I can't understand what they're saying, but my heart understands. <laughs> Just like Love Life, I don't understand what they're singing about, but my heart, I, I vibe with it. It's a vibe. I feel that. Yeah. I vibe check that. How dare you? I, I don't even know what you. a vibe check is. I'm going to be no, honest. No, so vibe check is when you bring your weapons to the convention weapons check. That's a call to vibe check. Really? Uh, that's I don't what, think that's really? true. That's what Becker told me, and I'm like, all right. That's what we're going to work this on. Is a, I think this is Zoomer talk, and we're just <laughs> reaching for this. No, it's Zoomering a, with you. It, it's it's a joke. <laughs> that's what we <laughs> were saying. We're like, it is a are, joke. Are, are weapon checks called vibe checks? I'm like, I hate you. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Now that we have all that set aside, and now that it's been half an hour of us talking about all of Shinkai's other films, why should you be interested in Weathering with you? Well, for all the reasons we listed before, like, Shinkai's films have had such a wide reach, they've been critically acclaimed and incredibly popular, and this is supposed to be the culmination of that. Like, after your name, uh, Shinkai got together, and, like, he, he actually talked, and it's so crazy, right? Because your name was so critically acclaimed, and it did so well, but he said like he got so much criticism for your name, and he Which wanted is very to, like, weird. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> yeah, Shaw. Why would yeah, Shaw. Criticize? Can you? I can't think of a single person, Shaw, who would you know 
say something bad about your name, Shaw. How Who would do shocking. such a thing? Eight oh seven. I would never. Oh. Well, what's more shocking is why would he listen to me? <laughs> For anyone who, like us, like us. Why? Why would you listen to me? Why am I on this podcast? No one should hear. No, <laughs> everyone should listen to us. Listening with you. That's the name of this podcast right now. We're listening with you. Listening with you. But yeah, so yeah. Weathering With You was supposed to be the culmination of all of that. And it was uh, something he had been working on since your name. And once again, he's in charge of the direction and the writing. He once again did the photography, color editing, et- uh, design, and editing. The same that he had done for Garnivores and your name. And uh, it was his third film in the last nine years. He's been doing it on a steady clip of like every three years he comes out with a new film. It's very impressive. It is actually very impressive uh, work ethic. His yes. work ethic is so insane. I cannot hang. How is he Yo, doing so well and doing so much so quickly? He, he should take a break. You know, take an extra year off. You know, like, I, I assume that these are resting with you. Or yeah, chilling, chilling with, with you. you. Hey. Yeah. Netflix and okay, go on. Nope. <laughs> G kids and Netflix. A uh, G kids and chilling with you. <laughs> yes God. but uh please continue fate on what you were saying like five minutes ago before we started doing whatever yeah we just sorry did. it's okay you know yeah but like so weathering you came out last year and when i went to japan uh i don't know if you guys knew this but i went to japan uh i, I don't think i've mentioned did you know i don't think I've, I've mentioned it on this podcast before but uh when i went this past summer like every subway station every bookstore every like store had like a bunch of weathering with you promo material. Like it was plastered on everything. Wow. Yo, there were like uh, Lo- I think it was Lawson's or it was either Lawson's or Family Mart's where they would Ooh. sell like weathering with you ponchos. Like wow, that's actually really smart. smart. I respect that. Weathering that's with good. you ponchos. That's a good call. And they, they also had a sponsorship deal with. So Tenki means weather, and so their Tenki dot com. Uh, their weather.com had a sponsorship with mm-hmm. weathering with you as well. Wow. Like, it I was all over it. Shinjuku. Like, I mean, is there weathering with you umbrellas? Yes. I I'm pretty sure there were weather. Yeah, I'm pretty sure be. I saw weathering with you umbrellas. They had weathering with you bags. Like, everything weather with you, weathering with you related that was related so was, to the was weather. Was there a product for every single Makoto Shinkai movie ever done? Like, what was for your name? Yeah, I they had name so tags, by the way, that were, <laughs> that were uh, sponsored <laughs> your naming. <laughs> Hi, your name. So, so basically, so basically, Makoto Shinkai is the Star Wars of Japan. Uh, That's a bold just, statement. I like it. Just gotta get, just gotta get its name onto everything. Honestly, yeah, dude. So, like this was such a sponsored, like selling alcohol, sponsored, like selling alcohol from Maiden. Oh you man, know what I mean, like that'd be awesome. I mean, really they are uh, the town from your name that sold. Uh, like the Amazake, the uh, the special sake, like sold out of their supply because they all thought Mitsuha made it. Oh no, Vegan! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, disgusting. No, <laughs> Vegan! No. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. And guys, don't worry. Sorry. No one is spitting into any sake or alcohol <laughs> in this. Y'all want to just drink some? Y- hey, y'all want to just hit up a bar and drink some saliva? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. No. Oh, but no. what I also did like in your name was that uh, we saw the teacher from Cardinal Words in your name. So yeah, felt like did. a little that bit of cool. uh, like, let's call it like a Makoto Shinkai, uh, Shinkai Cinematic Universe or like a MCU yes. for short. Oh my god. I don't think anyone else has taken that yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm seeing with you. Stop. Do you get it? We're not spitting out alcohol. We're spitting out straight fire. Here. Hey, <laughs> we're spitting oh with you. <laughs> okay, that just sounds like a porno. But go on. No, this is a family-friendly podcast, Bacon. You said spitting with you. I'm just, you know, you know, you know do your thing. I think I'm just gonna dolphin noise anything that sounds remotely suspicious. <laughs> yes, I think you should do that. Oh, that works because you know there yes. were there dolphin. There were like there were like water animals, and what the ring with you. Yeah, but yeah. So with weathering with you, like, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch the trailers. It's a, like you will just know that it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be like a meat cute thing all over again. It's going to have rad whims all over again. There may or may oh, dude. They do. They do such a great. Yo, show. grand escape though. Mm, that slaps. Great slaps. Song. That is 
as the Zoomers say, a bop. It's what, it's <laughs> what the millennials are calling it, a banger. Is that what, is that what they call no. it? No. Oh. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, only my friends in real life get that, get that joke. No, okay, I think we got it, but to call it a joke would be a stretch. No, we got a stretch. it. stretch. Okay, fine. Then. I can't believe you're saying uh, this. Why are you the, doing this? Because it's funny to be cringy sometimes, all right? No, no, I mean, why is fate calling you out for I have never cringy? been oh, cringy in true. my life. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Sure. We got the <laughs> with you. What would you guys say, like, how would you, like, try and finish this sent- Uh, like, this is- we're gonna do some Mad <laughs> Libs here, right? So, like, if you oh, liked boy. this in Shinkai's films, you'll like Weathering with you. So, like, for me, if you <laughs> liked gorgeous animation and, like- beautiful like tr- music overlaid and like really intertwining with that animation i think you'll love weathering with you yeah i think if you like the kind of um like the teenage romance aspect of like some of his other films along with the you know you know grand sense of trying to overcome supernatural elements to you know find your happiness i think you'll like that I like you'll like weathering with you. I think if you just like Japan in general, you'll like weathering with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a pretty broad. Yeah, we'll look, it's a pretty look broad. It. What if they really Japan only is. like like Hokkaido or Okinawa? What if they don't like Japan? <laughs> then you're not gonna <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> what if they? What know. if they're like you know they're like okay with Japan, but they really like anime? Then they're, they're gonna think this movie is. You know what? You guys took both of mine. Okay, what was I supposed to say? Those are two exactly say, things I was going to say. Okay, you know. You can say what I said better because I didn't really say it that good. That yeah, well. Yeah, these. See, exactly. And it's fine. I ain't it's, that good. It's fine. It's okay. You're a great rapper, Shaw. Moss. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now that the bar has yeah. been laid so low. I'm, so, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm the, okay, go on. Oh, how would you complete that sentence? I. Where Where are we? I've lost. <laughs> If you like blank, you will like weathering with you. What is in the blank? Okay, uh, for me, if you like the day after tomorrow, you'll like weathering. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so perfect because I had said if you like that's X like- from Koto Shinkai's films, but Sha just said if you like X and now let <laughs> you say day after tomorrow. If you just like this, if you like, I, I like Moz's the so, best yeah. actually. So weathering with you, aka the day after tomorrow. <laughs> As, as someone, I, I just want to say I actually genuinely love the Day Wait, it's a great it's a food movie. movie. <laughs> it's Don't you know that you could outrun the code cold in a library? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just burn books. <laughs> just burn books as the wolves come after <laughs> you. Just, just set things on fire, just... man. Bro, oh, oh my god. god. Oh, that's so messed Forehead. <laughs> oh, man. There's no book burning and weathering with you in case they, uh, you're sensitive to that. Yeah, because it's raining yeah, and burn the, the books, that's the so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they oh, they do have. I will say this: if you really like corporate sponsorships, which you know who doesn't? <laughs> I love corporate sponsorships. I, hate corporate I was sponsorships. actually just. I should have said this instead. Of, like, if you like McDonald's, you like <laughs> <laughs> if you like Yahoo Japan, Logan, who doesn't like McDonald's? If you like Yahoo JP answers. Route. If, are we really gonna go that route at this point for the movie? Yo, That's if at this point, yo, like legit, I felt so proud of Shinkai after like so many indie films. Like he didn't even have to resort to McDonald's; he could do the real McDonald's. Yeah, I was True. surprised by that. I'm like, <laughs> wow, they just went in so on dude, this. Dude, he's getting money that money, and they had an Apple laptop too, like a like an actual MacBook instead of like some oh. weird logo. Oh, I didn't Pineapple book. That. Yo, I was like, I was so proud of Shinkai. I was like, Shinkai, you go get that bag. He's getting you that You go bread. get that bread. See, cat, get that bag. Man, we stand. We stand. We stand in <laughs> like, Shinkai. Dude, it'd be so cool if, like, his next film is sponsored by G-Kids. Like, whoa. It's like, <laughs> it's like, Yo, everyone knows only the best of the best got sponsored by G-Kids. Oh, what's that say about? Oh, that mean, are we the best? I, oh my god, we did. I think not I'm only so that means best thing with we're you. the best of the best, but also that weathering with you coming to theaters in North America starting on the fifteenth. 
and the 16th subbed and dubbed and then starting on uh for an extended showing uh more than those two days starting on the 17th you can catch that thanks to our friends over at gkids all you have to do is go to weatheringwithyoumovie.com to see which theaters nearby you are showing that amazing film you absolutely have to go check it out once again thank you to our friends over at gkids and this is just part one of our two-part series on weathering with you i i feel like this this film is just so good we need to talk about it it was so nice, we had to talk about it twice. So now that we've given you this, all our reasons for why, if you like other Makoto Shinkai films, why I should go see Weathering With You. If you ha- if this was the first anime film that someone's going to be watching, which, you know, maybe they come across our podcast episode, and despite us being the R anime podcast, they've never, ever watched an anime before, and they've gone all the way to the end of this episode, and they're like, why should I watch Weathering With You? What about it do you guys feel embodies the spirit of an anime weathering with you i'd probably say how normal everyday life or usually things like you know we that we think are boring or just normal can really look good when the focus is on it kind of deal when you like, shine a light on it so i would say when you really think about it a lot of these movies that makoto shinkai did they're they're more or less just like normal situations, obviously. Mm. Like, <laughs> the, the the small things in life. What I'm trying to say is oh, the yeah, small yeah. things in life. Whether it's like eating, or, you know, like just sitting in the cold rain kind of deal. He makes a lot of sucky situations for some weird way look beautiful, mm-hmm. even though yeah. that's like not a situation you want. He appreciates be in. the beauty of everyday mm-hmm. life. Yeah, the beauty of everyday life, good and bad. Especially in weathering with you, there are some pretty like depressing moments. But then, like, you look to the corner and like, wow, that's a great puddle. <laughs> and I, <laughs> that's, that's so sick. when you're going outside, check out a puddle and be like, you know what? I've this seen is better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've seen better puddles. Like, you know, here it's always raining. But even after watching Weather with you, I'm, like, driving around. just like, oh, you know what? This, this rain isn't that bad. You know, the plants need to be watered. You know what I mean? And then when I walked out of Costco today, it was sunny. I was like, oh, there's, she's in my town. She's here somewhere. <laughs> I need to stop her. Oh, Praise the sun. Girl. No. Praise the Helix Foss. <laughs> yes. Yes. My guy. Maz, how about you? What's up? If, if, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, if uh, you just want to see. So, so I think what's nice about shinkai is that he uses animation to just convey some things as with, with this certain beauty mm-hmm. to it like you can really tell with this film it, it, i would say it's almost like more of a spiritual successor to garden of words because mm. he uses water as like the, the way he just presents water not only rain but also tears mm-hmm. he presents it in this very beautiful and aesthetically pleasing way so I think it, he really just excels at using animation to convey certain things in the world and life in more beautiful and colorful ways than we're used to seeing, and it's very nice to watch. Mm-hmm. It really leaves you saying, damn, Shinkai, what are you doing? <laughs> Was that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> by, by the way, by the way, uh, I do recommend this greatly. Is you should watch your name first before you watch Weathering with You. Just because it's know. a Makoto Shinkai universe, cinematic universe, MCU. Yes, you that yeah that. Yeah. And, and I think just like with um your name, it also has the same kind of like you can watch this with anyone vibe going on. Like you could really bring any member of your family in and you think they'll have like a fun experience and at least see like have some appreciation for anime and anime films by going to see this like you don't have to worry about it being weird that's what i'm saying because we all have that where we're like can we really show this to normies and like they won't get freaked out like yeah you got the clear on this one so the way you said it made me think of like the backstreet boys and it's like everybody (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch yeah. this movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch this movie. And respect Shinkai's the back. All right. Oh, God, be <laughs> right. right. Oh. Shinkai's oh my back. All right. No one's no one's buying right. that music. They don't care about copyright. This. Point. We're gonna make that. Game <laughs> yes. Why are we doing so many singing and rapping intros? Because now? we're, we're radwimps. We are now. We are the radwimps anime podcast. 
Pod, like the pod webs. Pod webs. <laughs> pod webs. <laughs> well, you know, our well, our code is wrapped. That's true. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't want to. Don't know. Yeah. Double dip. But, so, Shaw. Yeah. So, if you were trying to reel someone into this, how would you do that? Uh, if they hadn't seen anime before, like, you know. Uh, if it's just like a friend you haven't seen in a while and they're like in town and they're like, oh, I kind of want to see a movie. And it's on either Dece- January 15th, January 16th, or, you know, starting on January 17th. How would you lure them in? Well, I'm going to try and make my sisters uh-huh. go see it. And they mostly haven't really seen anime films. So I'll be, I will tell them in like a week, I will tell them, hey, let's go see this movie. It looks really nice. It sounds good. And it has a really touching plot. Like the t- characters are good. And, you know, it really makes you feel like a teenager Stop. going through teenage emotions. Stop but ideas. they're already teenagers, so that won't work. <laughs> so they already feel like They're like, great. I want to get out of this. They're, yeah, like, they're like, this is not a sell. And I'll be like, just come see the movie with me. Yes. I'm paying. Shaw, this is why you should go see the movie, because Shaw is paying. I'm Shaw paying. is not, not actually yes. paying for your tickets. I will not. Yeah, don't think that. I don't live by you, <laughs> and I will not buy your ticket. I will encourage you to see it, but that's as far as I go. I'm Next sorry, time, fam. You know, maybe maybe if, you know, enough people watch it, enough people listen into it, we might be able to get a we might be able to cover some people's tickets next time. But until then, definitely go see this again. Weathering with you movie.com. It's coming out on the fifteenth sub to the sixteenth dub in January and a theater starting January seventeenth for a more uh wide release. Definitely go check it out if you liked anything by Shinkai. If you like anime, if you just want to be in the conversation, because people are going to be talking about this for a long, long time, I feel like. Be in the know. You want to be, yeah, be in, in the, the know. Future you podcast. want to be there. Future podcasts can be like, whoa, that movie, especially this one. Yeah. If you were kind of like me and you felt like out of the loop on your name and like you didn't get to see the hype because you didn't get to like see it when it was like in action, you guys can fix that yes. now and be there for the hype of weathering. With Don't you. be like Shaw. Be like us. <laughs> Aww, Don't be like I me. Be a Don't be like rapper me. And spit fire and all this no. This isn't rapping with you. It's <laughs> weathering with you. And of course, go check it out. Thank you guys again. And once you've seen this movie. Uh, be sure to check out part two of this series where we talk about our reactions and our thoughts more in depth on the spoilery aspects, the plot aspects of, uh, Makoto Shinkai. And of course, what might come next in the MCU, the Makoto Shinkai cinematic universe. Thank you guys again. This has been Fate Steel Taylor and the R Anime Podcast. You can follow us on Spotify. You can follow us on YouTube, on our channel, the R Anime Podcast. We're also on iTunes, on Google Play, basically anywhere uh, podcasts are found. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much. Catch you next time. Tutoroo.